In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can hide specific parts of your website, for example, a section, a column, or a certain widget, how you can hide it on specific devices, for example, for tablet view, or for mobile view, or for mobile and tablet view, or for desktop view, it doesn't matter, but let's say you want to have some differences between the mobile version, the desktop version, uh, or tablet version for your website. So to make it more clear, let me give you an example. Over here, I have the uh, this text over here, which is a heading widget. You can do this for every part that you can select in Elementor. So you can select a section, or you can select a column, or you can select a specific widget, um, any widget on the page. So I will now select this heading widget. As you can see over here, it has been selected. You can also see it uh, from the blue uh, highlight in the navigator. And what you can do now is you can go to the advanced tab over here, which is the third option. And if you click on it, then over here, you can see when you scroll down, it's this option, the responsive settings. Now you can click on it and if you do that, you can see that there are three options available. The first one is hide on desktop, then you have hide on tablet, and you have hide on mobile. Now, none, none of these options is uh, selected, so that means that this widget, the text widget, is displayed on the desktop view, which we are looking at now. It is also visible on the uh, tablet view, and it's also visible on the mobile view. But let's say that this text, for whatever reason, uh, maybe straight view, but it's for the example. Let's say if I don't want to display this text on the tablet view, then I can select this option, hide on tablet. I will enable it. And if I now go to the tablet view, you can see it's transparent because this option is selected. But if I click on this arrow uh, over here, you can see how the page will look for, uh, for regular visitors. Click on it. And now you see that the text is not displayed. And that is because I have now enabled that option for the responsive mode. So if I enable it again, you can see it's not transparent anymore. And if I now click on this button, it's back again. And we can also do that for the mobile view like this, enable it on mobile. It becomes transparent, but this is not visible for regular visitors. And if I click on this arrow, now you can see how the uh, page will be displayed for regular visitors. So now the text is not shown anymore. So if I uh, disable it again, and I'll set it back to how it was. Now you can see that the text is back again. And of course, you can also do this for desktop view. And like I mentioned, you can do this for every widget, for example, or columns or sections. For example, I will now select this column. And this columns uh, has uh, this uh, text or heading widget, I must say, heading widget inside. There's a text uh, um, widget. It has uh, a post widget and it has a button. But if I select the column and I go to the advanced step and I go to responsive again and now I do hide, now the column is gone because it's now not visible on the desktop view. But if I go to the tablet view, you see that it is uh, visible because for the tablet view, it hasn't been enabled or disabled. But if I do it also over here and I do for the mobile view, now you can see it's also gone on the tablet view and also for the mobile view. And if I set it back, now you can see it's visible again. So let me set it back for every uh, device. I hope this tutorial makes it clear how you can use the responsive mode. It's um, basically, it's very, very uh, self-explanatory and this will give you a lot of choices to completely manage how you want your website to be displayed on every single device type that you have. So I hope you learned something new by watching this tutorial. I would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to stay updated on new videos that I will be uploading, also make sure to hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. Good luck. 
and we'll see each other again in the next video.